No matter what people thought about who Jesus was, they wanted to ask him questions. Because it was clear that he was a person who had answers. On one occasion, a young ruler came to Jesus with a question. Despite his wealth and position, he realized that he didn't have it all. He knew that he lacked eternal life. So he asked Jesus what he must do to inherit what he lacked. If someone were to ask me the question this man asked Jesus, I'd be rejoicing. I'd explain the gospel. Maybe lead them through the Romans road. Or maybe ask questions to feel out where they are in their understanding of the gospel. And invite them to know Christ. But that's not what Jesus does here. Jesus points the man back to the commandments. What are you doing, Jesus? No one can live up to that. That's not the plan of salvation. Why does Jesus tell this man that the road to heaven is through obedience to the law? Anyone familiar with the Bible knows that we can't be saved through obeying the law. We're all sinners and we have no hope of salvation through our own efforts. But God is good. Jesus wasn't denying that he was good and that he was God. He was pointing out that this young ruler didn't recognize him as God. And until the young ruler humbled himself before God and repented of his sin, he would not embrace Christ as Savior and Lord. How can we better share the bad news of sin with the world? The fact that God is good is so much sweeter in light of the bad news of our sin. He forgives us of our sin. Don't sugarcoat the truth. Lovingly explain the bad news of our sin so that all will see the good news of Jesus Christ and repent of their sin and be saved. God bless you and see you tomorrow.